everybody, my name is Tony P. Thank you so much for dropping by my channel. I do pop culture commentary here. I just like to talk about stuff. I like to talk about stuff that's going on. You know, whatever's popping. And this week, you, you know, you already know. I mean, you can't avoid it. I can't avoid it. We got to talk about it. Damn, Bernie. What are those? What's the story behind them? I get they're popular. We all know that. We can't can't help but see them. But why are they so popular? What's going on? What's the story behind them? Where did they come from? Are they just random old man mittens? Hey, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. There's a button below if you haven't done so yet. Shout out to some recent subscribers, including Paul's Views and Opinions, Miss Angel Bangle, Jackson West, Jamie Campbell, and Jessica Stewart. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. You want to get a shout out just like those awesome people? Just subscribe. You just hit the little button below. Easy peasy. Oh, hey, here's another funny story for you. I got a new mic last week, but my audio sounded like garbage. Why? What happened? What was going on? I didn't turn it on. So note to everyone out there when you're, when you, when you get a new microphone, see if there's a power. I'm going to, I'm going to make sure I do that right now. So hi everybody. As I said, Tony P here. I really, really sincerely hope you all are doing well. There was a, a, a presidential inauguration. Uh, just recently, and it was such a, it was a nice event. Uh, people are talking about it, but what are they talking about? Are they talking about the youngest poet laureate of all time who gave a, a, a gripping poem? Nah. Are we talking about, talking about Lady Gaga? Did you see Lady Gaga there in her full Hunger Games attire with just a whole bird on her lapel or whatever? Just the entirety of a bird. Not a little bird. Not like, oh, it's a bird pin. It was a whole, like a straight up pigeon dipped in gold, just like right, just boom, just, just bird. Let me get the whole bird. If you can just pin that on. Oh, let's not forget Joe Biden's tome. Like, look, y'all, I'm not, I'm not making fun of anyone's Bible, but that, that was comical. That looked like a prop. That was Jesus's Bible. Like he wrote, that's the one. Jesus took his notes in and they just handed it down. Like somebody's looking for that book in a movie or something. Cause that was, that is, that's not a normal Bible. And yet, no, that's not what we're talking about. You know what we're talking about. We're talking about those Bernie Sanders gloves and Bernie just sitting there cold. Maybe angry. Was he salty? I, I, I honestly think he might have been a little salty. There were memes. They were memes on top of memes, on top of memes, on top of memes, on top of memes, like the day after. I get it. He's technically he's a political figure, you know, no doubt about it. But I felt like the memes took the politics out of it. Nobody cared. Nobody cared about the politics. They just cared about those old man mittens. Everybody else was looking fly, looking clean, had like, like they matched their outfit to their COVID mask to their like ice or toners it was straight and then you got bernie he was actually quoted as saying i was cold and i was just trying to hear what they had to say that was it he was just at work not feeling it maybe, maybe salty i think he might have been salty i'm here for it man i thought it was a fun way to start the year for starters the year you know last year was crappy so at least we started this year with something fun something entertaining something that everyone can jump on board for the glove memes. And, and although again, it was political, it was a fun way to move on and move past the inauguration. Let's kick the year off with something fun and funny that I don't think is going away anytime soon. Don't sleep. Cause when you least expect it, a Bernie meme will pop up. Now, in fact, there is <laughs> the, the meme has become images that don't have Bernie. Cause it's throwing people off. Like, yo, where, where, where's, where's Bernie? I don't see him. For the uninitiated, Sanders was snapped at the inauguration of President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris looking much more casual than his fellow congressional attendees. He wore a muted brown coat and knit mittens. He sat there with his arms crossed. Now y'all don't get confused. Don't get it twisted. Bernie knows exactly what's going on. Like he, he's well aware of the situation. In fact, got smart. He's like, all right then. You guys like this picture of me? I'm going to put it on a sweatshirt, sell it for 45 bucks. They sold out. I think there was like a thousand of them or something. Thousands of them. Who knows? They sold out immediately because it's the internet. And so what did he do? 
he just donated all of the money to Meals on Wheels in Vermont. So I think that's pretty awesome to to know you're in on the joke, but then you know make make something positive out of it. So why the old timey, crazy looking Christmas story '60s looking mittens? Well, come to find out, they were created by a woman by the name of Jen Ellis, and her daughter. She made them for her daughter's teachers, right? Come to find out, her daughter went to a preschool that is owned by Bernie Sanders' daughter. So she was like, hey, give Bernie a pair of these. I, I made them myself, which she did. She handmade them. Uh, give them to Bernie. Here, here's some mittens. And come to find out, this was some time ago. They actually were popular in um, 2016 when he was on the campaign trail. So he's kept them all that time. Jen was, was quoted as saying, you know, this isn't new. It's been around. But... She's glad they've held up after all those time. Five plus years, those mittens she made for him are still still looking good and still uh, quite popular. So good on her and good on him for keeping them. I think that's actually pretty awesome. So that's the whole story. They were gifted to him from a, from a parent, uh, and I think that makes it even better. But regardless of that, it's a cute story, but I love the memes. Just keep the memes coming. Keep them coming. All year, I don't care. Let's roll into next year. Bernie memes for life. But I ask you, are you tired of them already? Are you like, all right, I get it. This is old. Or are you living for it and enjoying it? Uh, I want to know. Send me your best ones. I don't care. Like I said, keep them coming. So that's it for me, y'all. Thank you so much. Do me a favor. Hit that like button. Uh, Let me know in the comments. Are you loving these Bernie memes? What's your favorite? What's the best one you've seen? I want to know. I want to hear all about it. So thank you again. And until next time, do your best to be your best, and I will see you then.